All right, this is the basketball court, baseball diamond of Whittier Middle School, which is now just an empty building. As a kid, this little trail here up to the street is the trail the way I came out of class, out of school every day on the day that I went to school. That was a gym right there, that large building. A lot of getting yelled at in there. That teacher's name was Mr. Pleasant. It wasn't really that pleasant. A lot of screaming, yelling, push-ups and squats. And he always like gives us this huge lecture about being responsible or something. But he'd use him putting his hand in the cup when he was washing dishes and cutting his hand real bad as an example. I don't remember what the heck the point was of that story, but I think I was supposed to try to teach us something. Some more of the baseball diamond. It's Whittier. Actually, a building right there, the Apprentice Building. Uh, way before my times, but they used to have classes in there to teach you different apprenticeships and stuff. And now it's just empty, another empty vessel. But to bring it back would have been really, really cool because, as you know, we all, all of the youth now needs to learn something. Especially apprenticeship and something, you know, electrical, plumbing, anything. But, not no more. Parking garage, well not parking garage, but parking. We're used to teachers parking. The reason I know that is because everybody's always going out there to slice teachers' tires and crap. Yes, that's our mentality in Flint even back then. <clears throat> Back there is another baseball diamond, a little bit nicer than the front one. This one actually has what's left of a scoreboard and a fence all around it, seats, uh, nice back and decent old diamond. This here is the back of Whittier. As you can see, it's really, really big school and still quite a beautiful school, aside from the boarded up windows and other stuff that's going wrong with it. Won't take much to bring it back to life. You see it has a brand new metal roof up there. I mean, it only, it only like, I don't know, it's ridiculous how much money it's spent on that roof and to close down the school after putting it on. Right there is the new swimming pool and gym area. That's the newest addition to the Whittier and Central right there. And building there with all the holes in the windows is the uh, old machine shop where they teach you to become a mechanic and do body work and whatnot. These windows over here, whereas the, uh, this whole area down here is all the old wood shop for Whittier. They actually had a really nice wood shop. But it's all closed down. I looked in there and the machines are all gone too, so I don't know if they got them in storage or sold them off because I don't think there's any more wood shop at any school in Flint anymore. Kind of sad, um, last, you know, last year, me, Stephanie, and Reggie used to run down here, this track right here, and all this fence was here. Now someone came and took every bit of chain link fence from here. <laughs> I mean, you know it's getting bad. People are stealing chain link fence. And we got pallets left behind. Just... In ruins, yeah, we got Maxwell with us. He's trying to pee on everything, but not stopping enough for him, I don't think. <laughs> but this is a track and a football field. And if you see out there, a run down building there, uh, is where they used to keep equipment. Equipment's still in there, but the building's collapsed on top of it. Another bad thing. <laughs> but yep, see all the fence missing, all the chain fence tore up. Just took it all. It's terrible. I mean, it's so frustrating that we can't even have a place to run back here. People tearing it up. You see, back here, there's tire treads all over for people to come back here stealing and doing things they really ain't supposed to be doing. Uh, building there at the big stack was welding class. You could learn to weld. Um, uh, I think they did some machinery in there too, but mostly welding. And uh, I can't remember what else they did in there, but it was pretty cool. I never got to be in there, but I know a lot of kids did go in there. I usually back there at a little 
one spot is there. That's where I used to skip and smoke when I was a kid. That's about the only part I remember of it. But uh, it was a welding class. And we're going up these steps right beside Central now. Uh, up here on top of these steps here was actually where I spent most of my lunch when I did come to school and stay at school. We was allowed to come out here for lunch and not have to be all in the cafeteria. And uh, usually like the little cement thing there would sit down here eat our lunch or there was a couple tables out here but they've all been taken. There were metal tables, I think some of them were even aluminum. So apparently that's <laughs> Quick theft. Light poles are gone. They've been stolen. There's one light pole left right there. Uh, that's the back of Central there. Uh, a closer view. Actually, where Robin is over there, for whatever reason, is uh, where the lunchroom is. Someone's dressed up in a Robin costume. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah, a lot of memories back here. A lot of fights. Right there was like the main fight spot where the dead grass is right there. <laughs> Probably dead for all the people rolling around fighting on it. Up there where you have the steps to come up, there used to be a lot of uh, picnic tables and chairs up there for people to sit in. They're all gone. That was the main door to get out for lunch. And there's a good view of the FIA. That's a real good school. It's right in the middle of the cultural area. I mean, you got the library, Flint's to art, Flint's to music. There's, it's real sad that it no longer exists. Ow! Almost broke my ankle there. And I guess people look like they're trying to break in with a Robin costume on. There's the front of the uh, welding shop where we used to weld, teach crafts that were useful. There's a cafeteria lunchroom. Below the cafeteria lunchroom was a TV station, WHNL or something like that. And uh, it used to be a big flashing tower, TV station tower thingy, antenna, but they ended up tearing it down. Another missing light. Um, I don't see the name of the TV station's on here still, so I can get it accurate. There's a Flint Polk Library. Over there. Huh, still got a camera left. Huh. I always thought the metal work to this was really cool. A lot of detail and stuff they used to play in these schools. Of course it's all rotten and falling apart now. It was pretty cool. But now all the TV station information is gone now. Here's the side of the school. Alright, well, that's about it for Central. 